That was the very start of the stream. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know what? It it sets the tone. It does it definitely does. set the tone. With me yeah, around, you need me to set the tone. That's fair. That's completely fair. All right. Um, oh my god. Is everyone in roll twenty? Because I have a little bit of testing to do before we yeah, yeah, yeah. get playing. I am, yes. Cool. So, I had a request for more sound and songs and sound effects, which I have done. I've added a shit ton. But I want to make sure Ooh. that they're A, audible, and B, not going to blow everyone's ears out. So... I have a couple as well. Oh, awesome! They're, uh, do they're, you they're have real a way short. to play them over Discord? <gasps> How's that? That's sick as hell. That's awesome. I did add some hard... Ooh! For you, just in case you weren't able to get it. Uh, I, I, we also I can only find a couple of those. Uh, if you need Ooh. a music bot. Uh, I have my mm. stuff on roll 20 because it lets me set it for when you get to like a certain page, which is nice, so I don't have to worry about auto-doing it. Excellent. But, uh, uh, I, I should not be taking my ocarina out. Put it away. Put it away. Put it All away. Right. I'm not playing it's a bard. Sweet. One Can of these days I'll learn how to play my ocarina and I'll play a bard. There you go. All right, uh, everyone be quiet for a sec. I want to make sure that you can hear the sound effect. Okay. I heard it, Pretty but it was kind of quiet. Yeah, it was, right. I heard, yeah. It was quiet, but... I, didn't hear, I didn't hear it at all. Try again. A little better. Better. All right, I'll puff it up a little bit more. Like what? I said, just try not to blow anyone's ears out. What are you hearing? Let's do it. Oh, are you in uh, I'm now on roll 20, and that, that's... There really you go. Cool. Yeah, it's not over Discord, it's over roll 20. How about now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There Sick. you go. There Ooh, you go. know what? I'm curious. Can you can you play it again? Uh, sure. That was it. That was all you got. I'm... Yeah, that that's good. I'm just making sure that it maintains while I have other tabs open, because I was planning on doing a little bit of work while you guys... Oh, yeah. Yeah, good point. Yeah, and I just wanted to make sure that those audio effects were coming through mm -hmm. um, correctly. All right, sweet. Well, that's... that's Fantastic. Uh... All right, well, that is that. Uh, then my other piece of slight news is that we're not having poor Rain Shell with us today. We're missing Rain Shell! Yeah, he's sick. So uh, I was asked if he could just kind of quietly fade into the background. And if you guys get into any combat, I will play him. Okay and do attacks and stuff, because I don't want you to be without the infamous Amazing Rain Shell. Let's, let's hear your Rain Shell. Oh my god, I can't do that voice. I don't want to... Just do Eeyore's <laughs> voice. <laughs> I'm Rain Shell. <laughs> it's, not bad. Bad. <laughs> it's, it's not It's not as perfect as his voice, but it's not bad. Alright, um... Let me go yeah, ahead... Fire my lasers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and roll a die, and we'll see who's giving us a cap of last session. Ow. Whoop! Let's see, did it pop up? Three. One, two, three. Vezrin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and anyone feel free to pop in also to help him out. Um... So, last session, we explored more of the town, uh, specifically one of the shops where we met Dolar, a yeah. undead merchant? Question mark. There's a huge question mark there. Um, he asked us uh, if we would go to the circus and retrieve his daughter, whose name escaped me at the Cynthia. moment. Thank you. Oh, where am I? Um, I wrote down the name because I'm smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. After that, uh, he let us take one free item from the shop. I have a shovel. I will not hesitate to use it. <laughs> and then we explored uh, a tower which turned out to be a wizard right. tower and um, we got attacked by inanimate objects sorry 
<laughs> I think it was going to happen no matter what. I don't know if you have to apologize. It is, it is 100% <laughs> always going to be hey. my fault, though, because I go, ooh, shiny, and then I touch it. I mean, just don't okay. blame the victim, right? But yeah, no, of yeah, course. Victim blaming me, okay? I have I have shiny-itis. I literally <laughs> said it wasn't your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Stop yelling! Stop yelling at me! <laughs> Alright, All right. I, I think that's that's a pretty solid I, overview. Yeah, I, I think that was basically it, right? Uh, I also asked, and you guys said that you wanted to take a short rest. So, yes. after you worked your way up to the second floor of the tower, which seems to be this kind of nice... Oh, I'm checking stream. Honey, has the uh, thing updated, the page? Because I moved people to a new yes, page. Yes, they, it, it has. There we go. Uh, you managed to find a nicely furnished area if somewhere rotting. So you all curled up on the couches and put your feet up on the tables and took a nice rest because it's been a pretty long day. And you are back at exploring this area. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, and I remember the last thing that you were doing, Steros and Walt, you were examining these two strange circles that were inscribed on the floor next to the teleport circle that yes. appear to be for infernal summoning And purposes. they have been recently lit. Yes. The candles are yes. not lit now, but they had been at one point. Booty. Oh, I'm being damned. I thought that was just somebody else's duty. That's my duty. <laughs> Is Rain Shell? Uh, yeah, no, never mind. Yeah, Rain, Rain mind. Shell is definitely not eating that rotting carcass over there. Uh, he was. <laughs> Rain Shell was eyeing it, but he's the one who also got that really good glass of wine. Through luck. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Fear luck. Yeah. I gotta dump my dice. I figured out today that uh, I have two of the same die in this package. So that's cool. <laughs> not bad at all. I saw your emote on. Discord. I'm Moonbeam. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> just Moonbeam. The, the number one spell of all time. Yeah. <laughs> it's my ult. <laughs> all right. After you guys have kind of gotten up from your short rest, stretched, recovered a little bit from your extraneous day, uh, what are you all planning to do around this area? Um. Was that a purple there? Fire? Hmm? Oh. I'm sorry, I was just asking if that was a purple fire in the fireplace. Or... Yes, it's a magical fire that seems to be emanating from some lovely little crystals centered in the middle. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay. Go ahead. Does it burn? Does it burn? Should I... I'm gonna touch it! Oh my god. <laughs> don't touch it, man. I'm gonna touch the fire! Well, nothing. God! <laughs> hey guys, do you know purple fire is actually cold? What? It's not. Purple fire. Alright, well... Immediately. Now I... <laughs> that feels like a lie. I feel like I have to try to have to. Uh, I don't investigate. <laughs> oh God, you're gonna! It's everyone touching the fire, guys. No, I'm not. No, I mean, he can. <laughs> I could not do that. I'm sitting on a couch. And if I, I, oh, if I reach out my burn, hand, burn damage. I totally forgot. Hold on. If I, I reach out my hand, will it scorch me? Music. Hold on one sec. You joking? She's, a, she's looking oh, through her DM out. notes to see how much you roll for fire damage. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning up. Uh, what does fireball do to a room? No. Uh, no. It, has, <laughs> it has the same amount of heat as if you were to put your hand close to a regular campfire. In every way, it seems identical to like a fire that you would light off of wood, except for the color. Of course, it's purple. Okay. Well. Well, in that case, it doesn't seem particularly what for weird. Stupid damage. <laughs> <laughs> um then didn't you say wasn't there another way up or uh or the uh, magic elevator extends further up yeah, when you, go you to the circle yeah when you, you stand up. on that teleport thing you see two well. words one says up and one says down i'll uh i'll I'll check out what's upstairs, you guys, if you uh, want to come coming. with. It's boring in here. All right. Uh, give me one sec. Oh! I said up. Oh. Wee! 
Everyone who stands on the elevator and says up is immediately moved into this next room, which appears to be everybody. And Rain Shell is also not again. Thanks so obedient and quiet. Me. He's just hanging out. However, there are two things that immediately strike you as soon as you come into this room. The first is that the teleport Ow. pad that you had been on is now dead. If you stand on it, you put your oh. foot on it, you poke it, nothing appears. There's no lights, there's no words. For all intents and purposes, it's just a stone circle on the floor. The oh, second no. is that this is obviously a bedroom, but whatever happened in this bedroom wasn't just the decay of time that you've seen everywhere else. The bedspread has been completely smashed apart. The bookcases have been ripped to shreds. It looks like a wild animal was let loose and just tore everything to pieces. Is there a wild animal still here? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put in my notes, bedroom is fucked. <laughs> yeah, why do I bother me? Describe it enough. Bedroom is fucked. Perfect. <laughs> no no uh, signs of, of anybody still here? No, no. The, okay. the bed doesn't look like it's been lied in. You don't see any footprints in the dust. And it smells musty, like no one's been in there for ages. Okay. Somebody had a mystery dungeon style bed right there, bro. Uh, oh, it's like Pokemon? Yeah, like Pokemon. <laughs> you only get a, you only get a hay bell. Be a bed of some type. The hay has been pushed down as if a body had laid on it. And there's a very raggedy pillow and blanket that have been laid on top. Um, I would like to look at this little... Aw, oh, you and me both, sister! That, that, I like the shiny. The shiny! <laughs> uh, let's see. If you want to investigate it further, you can do Arcana or Investigation. Can I help? How? Uh, yeah! Hold on. Uh, I want to check your guys' uh, proficiencies real fast. Uh, Calliope, you already have proficiency in Arcana. Daros, you do not. I'm helping. I <laughs> this one. Stand back. <laughs> you know nothing. What is proficiency? <laughs> okay. I thought I thought that just meant that I was helping her roll with advantage. I was gonna say if you both had proficiency, I would let you roll with advantage. Um, cool. Unless there's a rule about that, I don't know. But otherwise, one of you knows about Arcana and one of you doesn't. That would be me. Okay. Um, so just I'll just watch. <laughs> um, 18 Ooh, really good uh, You can tell that through some magical means As you wave your hand over the sphere And try to connect to the weave That it is connected in some way To the weave or the weave on the floor But whatever power is using the floor you Has been shattered or broken It's like a pipe that has a hole in it And all the magic is just spilling out Instead of functioning correctly um, so we call the I'm plumber. Gonna relay this message to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> are uh, these uh these are these yellow spots? Those are candles, I assume. Yes. Yeah, they're candles okay. on the floor. Also not lit. I assume none of you is a magic plumber. No. That's not how oh, it well. works. I don't like to brag, but <laughs> oh, no, I don't get paid in money. Let's just say that. Something tells me he likes to brag. <laughs> uh, well, can I in can I see if there's anything under the 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 busted mattress? Oh, under the mattress, sure. Uh, just what are you going to do? Are you going to like try and lift it uh, up or run your hand? Kind of lift it up. Yeah. It's just barren floor. Okay. Uh, is well. that wall over there with the plant, is it fully open? It is crumbling enough that you can see outside, as if it was kind of like a, a window, and you can see out into the, the general town area, but a fair amount of it is blocked by the plant. Could we squeeze out if we had to? Uh, it would... Any creature of a small size, not medium humanoid, but small. Ah, okay. 
You're telling me my ass is too big. You're like six foot tall, Saros. I think the only oh, person taller than you is Rain Shell. Big chicken. I'm a big How chicken. about this fainting couch over here? Oh! I got the keys <laughs> to the fight luxuriously into a couch! Are you looking for anything specific or just looking? Uh, right? just kind of looking. Like everything else in the room, it appears to have been completely torn apart. There are rents in the fabric, like someone stabbed into it looking for something inside, or what it's been heck? thrown around. It, it's definitely been attacked. So they were looking for something. What? Or there is an altercation of some sort. Oh. That too. I didn't hmm. did turn you up on my end. Swoop. There we oh, go. Oh, my bad. Hold on. Let me turn up my thingy. No, it's okay. I, turn, I turned you up. I, you, Wait, you, so if this... Doing. If this, like, teleporter thing is broken, right? How would it you have... Are. Whoever was in here able to leave. They could have something told me not willingly. Maybe they just avoided going upstairs and they squeezed out last time they got stuck. Maybe. Where does he use the bathroom, this mystery person? <laughs> I don't think there was a bathroom in this entire wizard tower. <laughs> we could have checked the magic toilet, bro. Listen, I'm a sort of a plumber, like a magic plumber. Oh yeah, will you come magically plumb my house? Oh, no. oh gosh, that's the first <laughs> Why? Yikes. You can't just make that joke and expect me not to follow up. <laughs> yes, we can. No, you can't. I am right. incapable. No one make any magic stepbrother jokes. Oh no. Oh, yeah. So, can I like do an investigation of like I think that's what you would call it. Like the room to see if there's anything like connecting this what I'm assuming is like a crystal ball thing. To a see if there's a way to fix board. it. Sure. Um go ahead and roll investigation. Can anyone detect magic? Oh, I forgot to bring 19. Sheet, so actually... Uh okay. as soon as you reach your hand out towards the orb, you feel a slight vibration under your fingertips. Like when you know when your phone vibrates and you can kind of feel it like that. Mm -hmm. And as you touch it, you turn and you notice that something has changed on the stone platform. There are words written on it now. Ooh. In bright glowing red letters inscribed around the side is Forgot your key? Then use your head. Paint what you need and stain me red. Oh, somebody has to bleed on the thing, right? Hmm. <clears throat> huh. Okay, who's bleeding? <clears throat> uh, Vesson raises his hand and points it to the wound he got from the knight. Ooh. Okay. I suppose we need somebody who could perhaps draw a key with the blood the best. Oh yeah, um, wait. Perfect. I'm not bad at art. Wait, what you need. <gasps> I'm not great, but I'm not bad. <laughs> I have to chart out maps when I'm out on the sea. Would you prefer if I did it? No, yeah, we can give it a go. Just uh, be gentle. <laughs> just, just like, I just jams his finger. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Let me just rip your flesh open. How are you um, planning on doing this? Are you gonna dip your finger in his blood, or like? You're gonna get an infection. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got, I got, I got like freaking chicken claws. <laughs> just gonna scratch him open. Just... <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, let's see. What do we, what do we got that could potentially collect some blood? Uh. Oh. What if? We don't actually need to bleed on it. We have those quote unquote potions. They, they're, I, I they're really want to bleed on this. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, re I <laughs> really, <laughs> really want to <laughs> play somebody. Let's give it a shot. Oh, uh, uh, Pope in our chat actually has a great suggestion. You're a bird. Ink can quill that shit. Oh shit! Yo, oh, shit. <laughs> I do have some ink. <laughs> you know what, Pope? 
You're a genius. Oh. But, oh, yeah, no, you know, use the potion thing. <laughs> when can uh, you kill? Yeah. Yeah, it could... I got, I got long-ass feathers. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Wait, take what kind of feathers? Long-ass feathers. But also long-ass feathers. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take... Your crotch feathers are longer than your ass feathers, though. You know what? I have braided quills. You can shut your face. Uh, <laughs> and I take out the red potion from my inventory, and I... I carefully open it, because I haven't opened it before. It's gonna explode over here. <laughs> It just opens normally. <laughs> it just opens. Okay, no explosions here. Bullet dodged. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'll take a, a a longer quill from my quote unquote hair, the braid, and I'll dip it into the potion, and I'll draw a key in the middle of the circle. I'm trying to decide if I want you to roll. Nah. I feel like drawing a key is pretty easy enough, right? Like circle that's, line, line? Yeah, it's just a circle and a line. As you do so, as you, you draw with the red, the... Uh, I'm trying to click this little fucker. The yeah, words slowly begin to fade, and then ultimately disappear completely. And suddenly, the red runs all throughout the little lines and stuff inside the teleporter, and it... Starts to glow. That, <laughs> I didn't that need is your not... blood, man, elf man. <laughs> okay, it would have been cool. Would've that been is cool. not the same color as the <clears throat> elevator was pro uh, uh, moments ago. No, yeah. it is not. Steros, are you still on the platform? Uh, I imagine yes. you're drawing on it. You see the same words as before, up and down. The, the words on the first floor were... The, uh, oh, did I change I'm... the wording? Sorry. It's, it's... No, 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 you didn't. Uh, I was okay, it's the same words, character. up and down. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. It was... <laughs> I almost said the word, and I was like, I'm gonna get teleported the second I say it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll put myself right there, just because I was uh, writing on the middle. Um... Be careful. I I'm going to try something. Uh, and he he looks up at the words and he says, "Up." You are instantly teleported upwards. Oh shit! No way! Into a strange new room that you hadn't seen before, smaller than all of the others, and immediately far more gruesome. To your left is a desiccated body. To your right, a bundle of bones, and all around you appears to be a wizard's study filled with books and tables and papers and all the things that you would normally expect, except for, of course, those completely macabre things to your side, the strange eye on the table, and the summoner circle, nearly identical to the one that you previously saw in the living room, inscribed to the side. Holy shit. This, this guy's into some sketchy shit! <laughs> uh, can I, I investigate the body? Follow, right? Uh, Steros, if you're gonna stay up there, I'm gonna jump back to everyone down yeah. on the, the lower floor. I need to make notes anyways. <laughs> Sounds good. Alright, everyone on the lower floors, you've just seen Steros disappear. What are you planning? Uh, Is that what it looked like last time? Nope. Nothing better, no. nothing gained. Oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, yeah. was that you, Vezrin? Yeah, that was me. Yeah, okay. You okay, also get teleported upwards. Woo! I'm going. Uh, Bye! Rain oh, shell, what do we do? Uh, I have laryngitis, and I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> He's lost the ability to speak. Okay, <laughs> well... Here, if you send here with me, I'll I'll say it. You can you can stay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on. Up. All right, all of you are now inside the wizard's study. What the fuck Ooh. is this? <laughs> what did you do? Accurate response. There's a dead body. What did you do, Stars? If you want to get technical, uh, there's a couple dead bodies here. 
I know what you, that you've seen what I'm capable of when it comes to those uh, statues, but this is not my work. Too few holes. <laughs> That's what he said? That's what they all said. That's no. what they all say. <clears throat> um, Hope you used I... the wrong your in hmm? my DMs. Oh no. Was someone wanting to do something? Can I investigate this? Uh, this uh, uh, looks like a desk of some sort. Uh, can you ping it? Sorry, I'm trying to see where you're looking at. This. Oh one. yes, uh, it is a, a extremely ornate, lovely desk. There are three books that seem to be in prominent place on it. So the person was either just reading them or is likely like frequently consulting them because they're you know right out on the desk and spread out various potions and bottles and things and some odd looking gross slime stuff that seems to be stuck between the desk and the uh, walls that are lined with bookshelves and I read the books yes there are three the first one is a compendium of non-standard magical curses and illnesses so things that are a lot rarer than like your typical cough or cold or sneeze or something like that the second is talking about all the layers of the hells because there's nine of them and the third is a treatise on night hags as you can tell just by their titles oh no <laughs> uh, they're not they're not secured in any way could i take them yeah, they're just lying right there on the desk. I'm going to take all three, if you don't mind. Go ahead. That's what it sounds like. Equipped. All right, uh, we got Walt, Calliope, anything you want to do? I would like to investigate the dead body. Um, The just one over in. here? Yes. <laughs> sure. um, what's I see? also was investigating it. Oh! But that's fine. For the two of you, you have some <laughs> options on how you can investigate it. You can do a history check, a investigation, a medicine, or an arcana. Investigation. I have I plus two on investigation, so I'll roll for investigation. All I'll right. Do history. Whenever it's All right. Time. Go ahead. Who, me? Hmm. Total of 22. 22. Okay. And you're doing investigation? Yes, ma'am. This body appears to be have been long dead. Not only the partial mummified state of it, but it is still fully clothed, and the style of the clothing appears to be not similar to the other ones that you've seen around. If you run your hands over it very lightly, gently, you can detect no wounds. So whatever happened to them, they weren't stabbed or attacked with magic. In fact, they appear to be completely untouched, other than the fact they are, you know, dead. Uh, am I able to tell how old they were before they died? They appear to be an adult. Other than that, it's harder to tell because of the state of the body. I shall relay this to the people around. I would feel like I'm even... Calliope? Yep. You were rolling history? Yes. Uh, <laughs> see. Are you six? <laughs> you search your mind to try and recall if you've ever seen anything like this before or if you recognize what might have caused this person to be deceased but your mind comes up blank you come from a small town you have absolutely no idea what the hell is God going on it. frankly this is so far out of your wheelhouse that it's like, <laughs> oh look it's a potty awesome <laughs> <laughs> she just like stands there and like pretends like she knows what she's looking for but just doesn't say uh, anything mm, like interesting yeah pretty much <laughs> Mm, yes, mm, this appears to be a deceased person. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, I think he's <gasps> dead. I diagnose oh. you with dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, there was nothing we could do. Uh, Bezer? Uh, the one I investigate the creepy book with a pentagram on it, or the eye that I'm fairly certain is the eye of Sauron. <laughs> Uh, the book doesn't have a pentagram. It's tied shut with several lengths of rope uh, for no discernible reason as far as you can see. And there doesn't appear to be any knot on it that you could like try to untie or lock. 
the eye is identical to all the other eyes that you've seen around, you know, like on the different houses and things, except for it's enclosed within a glass dome. It just doesn't show up really well on the map. Does it follow me at all? It does. It is just floating and looking at you, but you can't interact with it due to the glass. Okay. Call him a good boy. <laughs> That's a good story? little disembodied eye. <laughs> <laughs> the eye appears to have taken no notice of your praise, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn. Not blushing? Oh, yeah, it's an eye. It can't hear. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta use yeah, sign language, Oh, you have bro. to sign at it, yes. <laughs> it just makes a little heart. <laughs> uh, he's gonna call over Walt. Yes. Uh, I, mean, I got a bound book over here for you. Ooh. Uh, can I free it from its binding? Maybe let's not do that just yet until we figure uh -huh. out what the size is about. Ooh, bound book. My favorite, just like my women. No, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I need Moving a selected on. Um, mute for chess. Just like press the button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then the chicks go back and join us. I will uh, happily pocket this bound book. All right, well, All right. so at the moment you have three books. The plague one, the bound one, the one on hags, and the one on the hells. Hells, that's it, yeah. Cool. Let's make a note of that. All right. Yep. I'm I making a note. I don't want to investigate the eye. I'm, I have a theory about why it's in the jar, but... Okay. What are you wanting to... Are you thinking more like the physical, like, nature or investigation or more like arcana or... More the container it's in. Container it's in. Interesting. What's your passive perception, Vesra? Oh, I don't know that up on my head. Oh, um, I think I should actually have a note on that. Oh, 14. Uh, 14. Interesting. Okay, roll investigation. Okay. Yeah. Excuse oh, me. Oh, I think it's just this thing. 1, 2, 3. Womp, womp. Aww. Yeah, not great. Uh, All right. What specifically were you looking for? Um, I was trying to discern if this little containment thing is meant to, uh, like, keep it trapped, or if this is just what it's in because it likes to be, basically. Gotcha. So, from your passive perception, because you are a fairly perceptive individual as a ranger. I'm a ranger. Right. You can see that it does appear to be a sort of cage of some sort on the outside of the glass dome there is what am i trying to think of bracing like metal iron bracing nailed into mm -hmm. the side of it to keep it from wobbling and there doesn't appear to be an easy latch to open it. it like it's on the underside and it would be extremely difficult to pop it off and open it so it is definitely a containment of some variety although how it's keeping the eye in there through magical or physical means you're not entirely sure okay. Right, that helps with my theory a bit. Or no. Is theory or hypothesis the one that's backed up with evidence? I think they're basically the same thing. I mean, for our, for our purposes. I'm science class here. This is D&D. &D. You're good. <laughs> okay. uh, I wanted to investigate the bones next, but I want to let everyone have a chance to do their thing first. Uh, I, that's all I wanted to do. Well, I wanted to do more, but uh, one says no. No, womp womp. <laughs> just get better eyeballs, idiot. I have one. It's just in a jar. That's what get he's trying to do. <laughs> Alright, uh, Starris, what were you wanting to do with the bag of bones? Or I guess box of bones. Uh, I wanted to determine how many of them, if any, are human. Though I'm assuming a lot of them are. Uh, let me see. Again, Sounds like a medicine check. And if they were used in any, like, magic rituals or something, if that's possible. So for the human, that would be a medicine check. For the magic arcana. Although, I will tell you just straight off from your, your perception, there are a ton of bones in there. It's, like, a extremely disturbing amount. So it might be kind of hard to sift through them all. Somebody was an avid collector. 
Hmm. I say that Those, that are, Those are people. I see dead people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so magic, or arcana, rather. An arcana mm -hmm. check to see if they were... Oh. Ooh! 19. You can tell that there is something magical about the bones. The threads of the weave that you pull on while you're trying to understand what might have gone on with them is tainted and rotten and twisted and sick. Whatever these bones belonged to, the creatures that were their former owners before they ended up in this box, were affected by some sort of magical malady so horrible that it seeped into their very bones and rotted out their essence from the inside. Ugh. So they don't even, like, have a remnant of a soul. It's it's pretty nasty. It's pretty- that, That's gross! It's gross! Ugh! Ugh! Brother, ugh! Uh. <laughs> You're playing this up way too much. <laughs> I like that clip. Um... I will- I will relay some of that to- or, I guess all of it, rather, uh, to the- party and I'll like I'll I'll pick one up because I see a magic circle but also I'm gonna wait for the others to investigate something else they may I, want to yeah Vezrin it looked like you moved up towards the fox thing there yeah uh, as you look closer on it, you see that it is a beautifully ornate wooden box, something that someone would keep their most deeply beloved treasures in and in fact there's something inscribed upon the surface Let's just bring this up here. It appears to be a poem, or maybe a riddle. The beginning of eternity, the last of time and space, the start of every ending, and the end of every place. What am I? Huh. Oh boy! Jolly good show, riddles! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what that was supposed to be, but it was Liam, can I get that in writing? The end of every place. Oh, it's, it's on the thing, but I can copy it to the Discord if you need. That's what I need, yeah. Ooh. I'll put it in the uh, handouts. Thank you. Down for now. Beat this. Ooh, I think I know what it is! Maybe. <clears throat> you. But this is not okay. my turn, therefore I cannot say. Warning, if you say the wrong thing, I will kill you. Not your character, you. So. I will kill Liter you. Oh no! <laughs> Literally Wait, dead. I, I you will guys remember you. when she made us sign that way? And I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read it. <laughs> what is this happening? I'm gonna say E. Congratulations. The <laughs> box flips open with a shutter, as if some sort of magical lock on the inside broke. And you find a variety of extremely strange things in there, all covered, like everything else, with a thick layer of dust, which is odd because it's inside of a container. You see a gold-bound book, an extremely ratty book, a golden key, and a smaller box, which probably contains a variety of other items. Um, actually, but before we get to that, I want us to take a quick break, because I want to give you guys something and it's not loading. <gasps> oh! <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to take five, and I will be back in just a moment. Roger that. Hooray! Good job on that riddle. I was legitimately stumped. Well, I was going to say E, but I wanted it in writing just so I could be positive in my answer. Sure, sure. No, you got it, though. <clears throat> I really want to open this book. I've never asked what it was bound with, did I? Um, I assumed rope. Or perhaps straps of some sort. I mean, chains is the preferable way to bound a, bind a book. Really? Nothing, Jess? I figured you'd have something for that. No, I'm, I'm bringing up something else. Don't worry about it. 
You know, I'm a little worried about it. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <sighs> That's really good. <laughs> uh, I wish we could somehow show the D&D &D chat this. I know, right? Calculate passive perception by adding 10 plus your character's wisdom modifier. No, well, by being the I mean the twist chat. Oh, that's extremely annoying. Oh, well, I wanted to uh, load up something to explain this, but on successfully getting through the tower and completing my two little puzzles and opening the box, you all have now increased your level. <gasps> Yay! Oh my God. Yay. Wow. I, I know we have some new players here. I had a whole thing on like level increasing and what you might want to look for, but for whatever reason, it is not loading on my browser, so I will just send it later. It's really annoying. Shall we manage our level oh. up now? I would recommend it, yes. Okay. Oh, holy crap. Mm. Okay. I'll try to make it quick. Don't worry about it. In the meantime... Uh, in the Abyss Circus handouts, I'm going to list all of the stuff in the golden chest real fast. So uh, we're just like level four now? That's right. Okay. And this should yep. allow you to pick new spells and etc. etc. Oh, brother. I need to. Oh, this is a feat level, isn't it? I think so. Are there any. Uh, uh, off the table can't you, feats. Can't you choose a feat every level? You like choose between a feat or like. It's like every three or four you levels. Yeah. You, but yeah, you can choose between a, a skill point level up or a feat. Let yep. me know what feat you want to take because there's some cool homebrew ones and there's some broken uh -huh. um, some uh, cannon ones. Pretty busted ones, yeah. Yeah, so let me know what you want to take and I'll, I'll think about it. But honestly, for the most part, anything that you want is fine. Okay. Everyone gets weird. Oh, that's why I can't find it. That's okay. Why can I not spell disguise? There we go. Always hard to choose a feat. Like I almost always fall back on just skill. I mean, a uh, um, ability upgrade. Uh, since I am kind of putting you guys on the spot here, if you are wanting, we can go ahead and move on, and you can manage your um, character a little bit later once you've thought about it. Uh, yeah. But I figured you might want to have access to those new spells and stuff as you're moving forward. Be perfectly fine with either. All right. So I'll leave, uh, it, I'll leave, leave it to anyone else. I put in what you found inside the chest. There are three things: the hat, a boot, a a hat, a pair of boots, a bag, and a few more health potions. Thank you. Great. And hundred gold. All of those are in the handouts. I'm going to upgrade you. my dex by two. Yeah. Um, I believe what you mean. 
That is all I need to do for that. But also it tells me I can I can take key healing. I feel like it's either it's either stat or feet, right? So why yes. is it telling me that I can that I can also do this this app is silly. I'm going to decline because I did the stats. <laughs> okay. Okay, where's my D eight? Shoop. Here it is. Oh, I hate choosing. Yay, levels! <laughs> <laughs> I am all done. It's fun. You guys got through those two puzzle slash riddle things pretty quickly, so I can come up with harder ones for the next. No. <laughs> yes. Wait, I can't read above a first period level. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there trying all to figure right. it out. I'm like, all right, I don't know what what hardness level I need to go for, so I'll, I'll try these out and we'll see. But yes, now I can throw some evil ones at you. Okay. Uh, is it all right if I choose lucky? Uh. That's the re-roll one bad roll. Or, right? Yes, I, three luck point. And, yeah, that's yeah. Right. That's like Okay, cool. Whew, thank you. Um, do you need me to tell you what I picked? Yeah, what'd you pick? Uh, I picked Magic Initiate uh, Wizard. Mm. Oh. That's a great pick. I put two points into Dex. Right. Nice. Oh, um, I'll go ahead and DM player one and let him. Oh yeah. Up rain shell. I forgot about that. <laughs> and now my dexterity has a score of twenty, baby. And I need a nice. new cantrip and a new level one. Or level? No, wait. Can I do level two? I can do level two. I'm gonna go grab a snack really quick. Yeah, grab a snack. Yeah, we're in no rush. Yeah, we're in no yeah. rush. But I am rushing. <laughs> That's right. If we are in no rush, how can I be rushing? It's a mystery. Ooh. We have a good okay. music for mystery. We do. I believe it automatically rolls, rolls it for us, Pope. Alright, I got me Zone of Truth and... Oh, shoot, what was the other one I got? Oh, Friends. Oh! Sick. Great picks. Okay. Now I have Point Friends. Gray, mending, and Find Familiar. Oh, Find Familiar's fun. You already know what familiar I'm gonna pick. I, I got a whole stick. Oh yeah, no, you got a vibe going. Uh, if you want to send me a character token for that, I can also add that here, so you can Ooh. manipulate him if you'd like. Yes. So Literally no gotta, rush at all. It's just when you get around to it. You gotta find a little spider boy. Spider. Oh. Are you guys, like, getting more, like, spells or something? Is that what you're talking yes. about? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a ranger, so I don't yeah, technically, but because I took a feat, I do. Uh, uh, Cornbread, if you want to um, uh, share your screen, I can tell you where to go to get new spells. Because um, I did, like, so I did the level four, and then I was, like, looking... And I seen the like where you choose either feet or ability score mm -hmm. improvement. Mm -hmm. So I did ability score, and I clicked the two that I wanted to improve, but it didn't yes. show anything else on like. 
if you scroll back up to the top of the page right next to ability it's kind of grayed out there's spells click on spells and then at the bottom click add new spells and and then at the top it'll show you that you have like two out of three cantrips and like two out of three level twos or whatever fill that in Oh, two out of three, and then three out of seven. Oh, you only have three out of seven? Yeah, I said, well, I, because I did the level four thing, and it says I have uh-huh. two out of three cantrips and three out of seven prepared spells. Oh, okay, so you just need to prepare four more spells and choose a new cantrip. Okay, 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 I see. And the cantrips, remember, are the level zero spells. Create bonfire. <laughs> what? Ooh. <laughs> a bad one. What the f- the infestation. Uh, Infestation's a good to, one. Uh, hover your mouse over it and see a description if it doesn't already include it. Yeah, fucking a uh, cloud of fleas. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me yeah. of what circle your druid is. It's circle of the land Arctic. Arctic. Yes. Yeah, that's fun. 5e tools is also good to use if um, Roll20 doesn't have all the ones you want to use. Or, um, yes, I know Ranger. Uh, she's on D&D Beyond. But I don't get new spells until level 5. I think D&D and Beyond is like, oh, you gotta pay for some stuff to read it, but then 5e tools Sometimes it, it does, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, if you're in the campaign on D&D Beyond, you should have like almost every book available to you. Walt, Sorry, the book guy. Ugh, right weird. Oh my god. <laughs> I really want to compare that summoning circle to the Book of Hells that I picked up. Uh-huh. But I'll let other people poke around first. I'll poke you around. Oh, is that a promise? Oh, okay. Pinky swear. <laughs> okay, moving on. Got a cornbread? What are we moving on to? What, do you want some pokes? Um, yeah, sure, I'm just looking them, but... and picking. I just saw there. something on my Google feed that I don't ever want to see again. It was a spider token, but with instead of eight legs, it was eight human arms. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. was not that's a fan. Uh, that's a Dark Souls enemy right there. That's I don't know. Cool. Weirdly less cursed, like hairy arms. Ew. Or like, or like really smooth. Would that make a difference? <laughs> is the whole spider <laughs> smooth, or is just the spider <laughs> part hairy? Listen, I gotta ask the important <laughs> question. <laughs> These aren't the important questions. Is I... it is it like a human centaur situation? <laughs> Wait, a human uh, centaur? A so centaur tar? Like... <laughs> <laughs> a regular? Or is this a human mixed with a human mixed with a horse? So you look like a, a double human. Okay, I was thinking like a double human, but yours sounds way more cursed. So let's go with that. <laughs> like a freaking snake neck for that poor horse body. Oh god. Front, front Human half centipede of a horse. but with horse. Alright, so you have to use your art powers for evil and draw this, right Chess? You have to use your money powers for evil so, so I can pay my bill, right? <laughs> 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 ah. there. Got him. I do front. use my powers for evil though. I did draw Torch Chick with human fingers. Oh, I remember that. that I want to cool. see this. Okay. Cool. Um, oh, got your token. Awesome. I will go ahead and do While that. While we're here, can I determine if Steros has fingers or feathers at the end of their limbs? Like, I thought we already did this. Did we? Okay. It's like it's like bird talons, but, you know, it's basically fingers. Okay. Yeah. It's more skin than feathers. Yeah. Gotcha. There you go. I sent yeah. it in the game chat. <laughs> oh god. Is this gonna scar me if I see it? Uh-huh. Maybe. But it's like also weirdly wholesome at the end, don't worry about it. 
<laughs> All righty. I love it. Uh, so what's considered like a beast? Bitch, I'm doing shit. What do you send me? Animals. Uh, 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 a beast is uh, not a monster, not a humanoid, basically. So it wouldn't be like something that we were fighting? No. Okay. I'm pretty sure what we were fighting counts as a aberration? Yeah. There are more categories other than humanoids and monsters. But yeah, it's just a category of monster. And specifically beast typically refers to animals. Yeah. Yes. Animalistic. Naturally occurring. Alright, everyone. Are we good with our level ups and wanting to move on, or do we still need some more time? I am perfectly I just... fine with where I am. I think to we're going to start with an appetizer. Did you, did you see what Pope <laughs> said, uh, Angel? Yeah, I already answered them earlier. Okay, because I definitely wasn't paying attention, but I wanted to make sure you were paying attention. Yeah, so um, I was telling uh, Calliope about how uh, her and Walt should get either new spell slots or new spells when they level up but I'm the one who didn't because I'm a ranger and I don't get any spells till level 5 you don't get any spells until level 5? wow I punch but no, I have new true. spells I have spells you don't get, get new spells, level. gotcha, oh, okay wow, you guys are... already have second levels oh yeah do you have a name for your horrifying spider creature? I Please, mean, no. um, familiar? Uh, I do. Fuzzy Wuzzy. Oh, <laughs> no, okay. it's Skid. I'm ready. Skid? As in Skidmark? As in Poopy in yeah, your but... drawers? <laughs> <laughs> Open your ears, stupid bird. <laughs> I don't know. They skitter around. Well, that works. Yeah. S-K-I-D? S-K-I-D. T. E. There we go. Neat. Like tits. Like Thanks. tits. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Jess, you need ADHD meds. Well, this has been established since day one. That's fair. Chess has always been extremely consistent. Yeah. Unfortunately. Alrighty. Unfortunately. Let's get back into it. I think a few of you had things that you wanted to do. Anyone want to go first? Oh, can I... In Compare that uh, summoning circle to what I found in the book on hell of yes, the Nine Hells. Yes, you hell. can. You pop open the book uh, on your knee or on the table with the gross body on it, one of the two, and you flip through until you see one that compares to the circle ha that has been inscribed on the ground. It's kind of hard to exactly determine because a lot of the summoning spells and circles are very similar, but this one appears to be one of the lower planes of the uh, nine hells. So there's going to be a lot of fiends there, hags, uh, other infernal beings, that sort of thing. Your mother. And your mother. Are they, are they, <laughs> does it, does it, um, does it clarify any, um, uh, any reagents or steps to activate? Um, I should have probably put them on the map. Uh, but like the ones in the lower level that you are at, there are candles that need to be lit. And that appears to be the only step. The rest, the inscribing in blood and the sacrificing of animals and all the dark stuff that you need has already been done. At this point, all you need to do to start the circle is to light the candle. Uh, Steros offers him the a bone that he picked oh. up from the box. What's that? Steros is, is like holding out a bone that he picked uh, up from the box in thank, front of thank Walt. You. You're welcome. It's, it's filled with dark magic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just... This is not a gift. I'm looking, I'll drop it. Wipe my hand <laughs> on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he, he would be the type of person to like find something gross and be like, hold out your hand. No, 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 just hold it out. Trust me. And just drop a piece of, like, <laughs> gross bug carcass on your hand. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I thank, thank, thank you. What is Christmas? I celebrate Hanukkah. 
Okay, nobody light any candles. I'm worried something something might happen. Who light the candles? No, no. no. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. All right, so other things that are in the box that um, you guys opened, are any of you going to be cleaning oh, yeah. them? I heard totally What's forgot. in the box? What's in the box? In the box, there is a beautiful velvet hat with a large feather plume, a leather oh. boot, or set of oh. leather boots with these beautiful intricate patterns carved in, a gray cloth bag, five health potions, and 100 gold, along with a beautifully intricate gold key that has this kind of sort of glowy sheen as if it's being lit by candlelight although there's no candle directly there did somebody say shiny <laughs> <laughs> uh that's when we'll quickly pass out the health potions to everyone oh thank you very much oh, there's you. enough for you all to have one each and rain shell too who still has laryngitis who still how has do we laryngitis. see the handouts again oh uh they're in the uh D &D nerds chat chair. And Abyss Circus oh. Forum, and then Circle Handouts. Uh, add one health potion. Is it is it any different? Is it just the same kind of health potion? It's a higher level. I think it's like the medium health potion. I'm trying to remember what the name is. Medium health potion. One. Uh, that's an exclamation mark. One. Oh, goodness. Heck of trick. Uh, I'm going to pick up the gold really quick and divide it between all of us because I'm not a heartless monster. That gives us Aww. 20 gold each. You're such a nice pirate, Steros. <laughs> I only Ew. steal from the pieces of shit. <laughs> oh. Like Robin Hood, but more They're not, they're not necessarily chicken. a piece of shit. Bones. Did you say 20... 20, 20 pieces each. each? Yeah. Ooh. You said 100 gold, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 20 pieces each. <laughs> Joke's on you, and, you have 70 now. And a health potion, you said. Aye, aye. To shreds, you say. <laughs> that gives me 30 gold. Okay. Um, Vestron will also present the other items to everyone. Is anybody gonna take the bag? I need a bag. Uh, real you quick, have Vestron, are you going to grab the key, like, to pick it up to give to people? Yes. <laughs> I know, right? That's a sketchy thing to ask. Uh, the minute that your finger does touch the key, however, <laughs> you hear a strange call inside of your head, like a sort of telepathic scream, but not of terror, of joy, of happiness, of exuberation, like someone yelling out, at finally succeeding at something, and then it fades, and the key loses a little bit of its glow. You just got cursed, buddy. I think there's another <laughs> occupant in my head now, but uh, problems for later. The pocket, the key. Like, getting crowded in here. <laughs> I don't need a hat. I already uh, I already have one. He points to his pirate hat. It's a very dashing hat. It's very dashing. It kind of goes against the whole stealthy motif for me, but hey. I also don't need the boots or the bag. Can you remember the boots? I... I don't wear boots. I don't. I haven't found any that fit me yet. Don't you have That's chicken better. feet? Yeah, the yes. chicken feet are kind of a problem. A little bit. <laughs> They're also very fluffy, so that takes up a lot of space. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Uh, Walt, do you want the hat? It kind of goes with your outfit. I, uh, he, uh, kind of, um... Bro, he's a musketeer. <laughs> yeah, defensively sort of pats his own hat. Like, I, I'm, I think I'm all right. Thank you, though. All right. Like, Ezrin, you don't have a hat. I don't need a hat. I'm. It's kind of got a whole fighter motif going. If you don't notice, just well, just, if no one's gonna grab the hat, I'm gonna give it to Rain Shell because I think that's the most hilarious. Give Rain Shell a hat. Yes. <laughs> I got Rain Shell and a hat. Yes, absolutely. Don't worry. Rain I feel like that's like putting a hat on a hat. <laughs> yeah, I'm way ahead of you. Best friend's gonna 
try and toss the Wait, is it going on his head or does it go on his shell? I put it on his head, it's cuter. I'll put I'll leave that up to player one. Uh, both are hilarious. <laughs> I'll draw I'll draw him in his little hat. So cute. Uh that As leaves the boots and the bag. These boots though. These boots. I don't know if they're made for walking. But that's probably what you'll do. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try on you'll, the boots? Uh, See if yeah, anybody else is mine. Uh, Walt, you're going to grab the boots? Oh, yes, and put them on. They look lovely. They feel lovely. Excellent workmanship. Okay. Oh, I grabbed um, the bag earlier. I don't know if anybody heard me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why is there... What? Who's who's drawing? Don't worry about it. Well, oh. Walt's <laughs> pacing around the room in his new boots. Very proud of himself. <laughs> uh, you said there was a smaller box. Uh, the box is the one that had the the bag and the hat and the stuff inside of it. <laughs> okay, got it. It's rain shell. It's rain shell. Yes, it is. Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay. Um. <laughs> His little smile. <laughs> it's supposed to be blush. <laughs> it looks like he's crying. He's crying <laughs> tears of joy. He got a hat. Saros, you didn't get something. Do you want this key? Uh, sure. I could keep it safe. Saros, as you go to grab it, you hear the same thing that Bezrin did. That kind of internal telepathic shout for glee. That was disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Did you hear the same thing when you touched it? I did. Oh my god, we're both touching the key. <laughs> oh, no. Staring longingly into each other's eyes uh, so the key. <laughs> I never noticed how beautiful you are <laughs> New music <laughs> <laughs> And fade to black No They had sex <laughs> <laughs> No, Vezrin just pet Steros' feathers For like 10 minutes And then they walk in opposite directions They brush each other's hair Beautiful Gorgeous. Anyone watch um, Brooklyn Nine Nine? Yes. Yes. Shampooing your lover's hair. Smell oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So upon the uh, key laughing again, best friend will ask, uh, "You want me to keep it?" Well, only if it starts laughing again. But at that point, I think you'll know. I'll toss it right at your head. Fair enough. Just anyway, minding his own business. I'm sink right off his head. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys heard laughing? Would you like to touch the key to find out? Yes. <laughs> oh, I can <laughs> touch your key? Amp. Oh my god. This is this is a bad D D setup to like porn. <laughs> Do you wanna to touch my key, babe? Nice, big, and veiny key. Alright, Tess, I'm gonna point you to the I'll unlock your you, door. Are you taking the key? I will take the key, yes. Again, as you touch it, you hear that same telepathic shout for joy in your head. I don't want to touch the key anymore. No one wants to touch the key. <laughs> I'll, I mean, I'll put I was the okay key in it. my bag. It's okay. okay. Okay, thank you. I activated the I... last magic circle. I can I can bear the key. <laughs> yeah, so that is everything. I think we can leave with power now. Unless is we there... want to summon the demon. Is there more up? You stand on the platform, all it says is down. There doesn't appear to be another level. Mm. Up. Nothing happens. <laughs> you just shoot through the ceiling. into the ceiling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he knows the shot, I assume. He G mod ragdolls through the door. <laughs> Walt, I'm actually surprised you haven't looked at any of the skulls on the show. I, you, I'm so tempted, you know, but after that key situation. Okay, I'll check. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Wow. Maybe, uh, a lot of I'll check some like... too. 
would like to investigate some of these scrolls and books. All right, Walt and Saros, are the rest of you doing that or uh, planning anything else? Give me a second. Yeah, I'll look at the, uh, this shelf over here. Uh, I'll let I'll let him go first because I need to write my notes a little bit. All right, all you I have been freaking nerds over a lot, are so... looking through scrolls. <laughs> Give me one sec. Damn. One d four emotional damage. <laughs> no. <laughs> For the most part, as with the last time that you looked for scrolls in uh, the Dolores General s Store, which I still think is fucking hilarious, uh, a lot of them have been <laughs> rotted by time or age or otherwise have had the uh, ink on them fade. You see a few books, nothing particularly interesting, maps of the world, atlases of the local area, some treatises on local fauna and flora and botanical things. Uh, a lot of medical textbooks, but again, nothing too unusual. They're just basic textbooks for humanoids, understanding the basic functions of the body and how magic can heal in many ways. But you do, the three of you, because I'm just going to go ahead and do this, find four different scrolls. Um, and I will let you choose who is going to grab one. Uh, you find a scroll of Detect Thoughts. And I'll actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the handouts too because oh, I love oh, handouts. Right? Love... We have four scrolls. Where do we find these handouts again? The Abyss Service uh, uh, forums. Yeah, the forum. Okay. <laughs> Hated that. Uh, Thank no. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the picture of the girl. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I just seen that. <laughs> and I had the rules and maps and the note that you guys got at the very first session. Yeah. Alright, your four scrolls that you find are Detect Thoughts, Speak with Dead, False Life, and Mage Armor. Uh, what? I haven't ever heard of false life before. That's pretty scary. I would love this one. And he reaches for the uh, detect dot. Alrighty. Uh, I yoink. Uh, speak with dead. Uh, I'll pick false life. And uh, that's when we'll just hand the last roll to Rain Shell. All right. Don't know if that would. I think he has armor on. So uh, remind me real quick who has what. I was eating. Steros has speak with dead. Cool. Next spot. Alrighty. Uh, Vesper has false life. And then we'll and... give the other one to Rain Shell. Perfect. All Not right. necessarily to use, just to hold. Perfect. We stuff it in a shell like it's a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's not like it would have hurt. That's his house. It's like cats don't dance, you know? He he goes in, it's his house. What was that one time? Who said that he was like, went in his shell and was like, slamming doors? That was me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He says mer. I fixed the, the blush on the shell. It's great. See no difference. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, no, I see it. <laughs> he has a hat. Um, is there anything else we need to do in this room? I mean, we could try to see if the key could go into anything, but it doesn't really look like... Oh, um, I'm so sorry. Sorry, before you guys move on, I forgot the two things, the two other things that were in the, um, freaking box were two other books. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot about those two. <laughs> one bound in gold and one that's torn and ratty, with a ratty leather, leather cover. One gives you infinite gold, the other one, you perish. 
choose wisely, traveler. <laughs> well, I have more books for you. Oh, thank. Oh, thank oh, you. So <laughs> <laughs> books. What a nerd. Do you like that? I'm trying to. Try to... <laughs> what were the books again? I'm sorry. Um, they don't have any titles on them. The nicely uh, covered one, like the one with gold, at the moment is impossible to open. You try and pry and pry to pop it open, but it doesn't respond to you. But there doesn't seem to be anything wrapped around it or locked that would keep it shut. It's just not opening. The other is a very simple leather diary of some sort with a child's scrawl inside of it. Because the person is still learning to write, it's kind of hard to determine what they're saying, but it appears to be an extremely mundane life. Today I got up. Today I had food. Today I learned this. Just an ordinary diary. You should you should give the golden one a kiss. You know, maybe it just needs some love. <laughs> it's like a prince. Well, when no when everyone turns from at the earliest opportunity, I'll give it a small kiss. Just... Uh, <laughs> well, can I that yeah, oh yes, here. Uh. Vessen's gonna try again and say me. Uh, it does not respond, unfortunately. Great instinct, though. Yeah. Yep. Tell her how beautiful she is. That was weird. <laughs> Just Thank picks you. it up. E. <laughs> e. He's gonna do that for everything else. <laughs> e. <laughs> Like, bro, is that no. just your favorite letter? He's like, what? What? Are you... Weird, bro. Far be it from me to think wizards are one-trick ponies. <laughs> oh my god, you're such a beautiful book. Can you open for me? Oh my god. Now, what is it with your sexual relationship with this book? There's nothing sexual about kisses. You kiss the homies goodnight. It's true. Oh, like you're wearing socks. <laughs> got, a, got a point. All right, are okay. you guys wanting to do any other investigations in this room, or are you planning on moving on? I... You, you said the the jar, like, the eye in the jar was, like, nailed to the table, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was gonna be like, I'm gonna pick out, I'll be taking it with me, I'm name him Jeffrey. <laughs> 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 it is nailed to the table. No, we gotta take the table with us. <laughs> okay. We gotta, we gotta save Jeffrey. <laughs> Do you want to be saved? Best friend, just like <laughs> best friend trying to be funny, does grab one of the books and like opens it in front of the uh, eye to give him something to read. Uh, like what? What are the the textbooks or that kind yeah, of thing? one of the textbooks around here. He's just gonna no. pop it up. It's hard to read emotion in a floating infernal eye, but it seems to like be slightly annoyed at you. Like it would be <laughs> its version of rolling its eye if it could do that. <laughs> that seems like something it could easily do. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's rolling it just whole doesn't backflip, bro. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't backflip. <laughs> <I'm annoyed. laughs> right. for you, but I can at least give you something to do. Fine, screw you. Enjoy that page forever. <laughs> Bye, Jeffrey. <laughs> down. Down! <laughs> We're going down, down! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I tapped into something from high school. No! Explain <laughs> <laughs> shells going down. Oh, uh, what about you, Clypey? Are you also going down? Um, yes. I'm a follower. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, down. Uh, I don't know why I feel I need to shout. <laughs> down. You gotta like sneeze it. <laughs> <laughs> down. You all go down. Going down. But the minute that you do, the candles on the two summoning circles light. No. Shit. Poor <laughs> down. Rachel. He's stuck up there by himself. Oh no, he's got <laughs> He's got Larry He's like <laughs> Inside each of the summoning circles, that light, as you all appear, there appears a summoning vortex. 
that swirls and swirls and swirls and then puffs into mist and two extremely strange creatures appear twisted and infernal and demonic looking they look you over and then the one to your right screeches where the hell is ellie who upstairs well if she if she is not upstairs and i come back downstairs i will kill you do you understand this i will actually you... kill you <laughs> um is this what we um, what does Ellie look like? He's the wrong wizard? answer. That oh oh, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh no. Where well, are you guys? <laughs> oh no, Ellie. Then who are you? And what are you doing here? And why should I not kill you immediately? Because you well, get your knife dirty. The one on the left is like. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> We, uh, well, I apologize. We are, we are new here. We were hoping to find somebody to help us around. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you could go with us, but I, there's no guarantee that you won't die. <laughs> we can also leave the tower if that uh, makes you feel a little better. The two of them look at each other, and their one brain cell seems to be pinging back and forth between the two of them. They're also trying to process who the hell you are and why the hell you're here. As they speak to each other in their, their little whispers, you see them both kind of side-eyeing you, and then eyeing the circle, and then eyeing you. They're planning something, but they don't seem to be smart enough to figure out what that something should be. Are you um. quite all right? <laughs> Look, lady, we have been told that if the wizard sets foot back in her castle, <laughs> we're to kill her. And you're not the wizard, but you're still people. So I feel like the order still applies, you know? Like, I think we should kill you, but my brother doesn't think we should. So honestly, we're just kind of confused. I want to cast you friends. I'm a person. Ooh, you're going to cast friends. Can you cast it on two targets or just one? One. All I'm right. Going to cast Cast it on the more hostile one. Uh, yeah, the they one also who's... have one brain cell together. So... <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully my soothing loot s soothes them. Alright, uh, circle the one that you cast it on. Uh, they're both kind of equally hostile towards you. Uh, that one. Alrighty. I'll just draw a little thing around him. Uh, real quick, friends, is that you have advantage on checks, or are they just... On charisma nice? checks. On charisma checks towards you. Uh, cool. Hang on. Uh, for the duration, you have advantage on charisma checks directed at one creature of your choice that isn't hostile towards you. When the spell ends, the creature with last for a minute. Uh, when the spell ends, the creature reali realizes that you use magic to influence their mood and becomes hostile towards you. Okay, fun. So uh, the other one, I think, is probably just too dumb to realize that you did anything. But if you want to try and do any charisma on this boy, you make yeah, it you certainly don't want to kill us <laughs> at all. Correct? I would assume we can end the we can end our uh, time tier diplomatically, right? Uh, go ahead and roll at advantage. Let's try and convince him to let you go. Or persuasion. It's I like, assume. What's diplomatically? That's a big word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't understand that. With advantage. I think diplomacy is something you can eat. Uh, 19. That seems to have made a good impression on him, especially since he's still trying to puzzle out what diplomacy means. He thinks it's the food. So, <laughs> uh, while he's it. kind of smiling befuddledly at you while the magic is still working and scratching his head, he kind of waves you towards the summoning circle. His uh, brother, friend over here is objecting, but the circle which had been kind of humming weirdly seems like he had might have stopped it, seems to have puffed back up to working correctly again. Oh, this can only go well. Then was there something you wanted to show me? Show you? I'm just letting you go. Go, oh. go, get out of here. There's no reason oh, okay. for you to stay. You're not Ellie. I don't have to kill you. Just get out of here. 
Okay, everyone in the everyone in the circle. Everyone in the circle. Thank you very much. Tell me twice. Down. I like your knives. Not that circle. Not that circle. No. <laughs> Not that circle. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, you all manage to get down. A few minutes after you do, and you're walking towards the door, you hear a screech coming from far, far <laughs> above you. Like, oh no! Wait a minute! Out of here! We gotta get out of here! <laughs> Zoink, Scoob! <laughs> all right, you guys are gonna book it out of the tower. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That was good. That's when it's gonna bar the doors. We uh we we can't we can't very well you know murder some troll dolls you know we don't have brushes to do their hair with. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was looking forward to torching you guys with that voice. I'm so sad I don't get to for a while. Yeah, we should we should we should we should make some distance. Uh, well, we have now explored everywhere except for that that passageway. So I guess we should probably go that way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps. Yeah, the the Let's go with the light. Yep, to the light. Grandma, is that you? Rachel, that you coming? You. He's he's thick. He's he's trying to look long behind you guys. Okay. He, okay. He's, he's no, 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 I get it. Can water. I get you some lemon water? All right, give me just one sec while I have to adjust huh? some stuff. Where are you getting lemons from? Um. Your mother. Are these oh. not lemons? Oh. oh Sorry. Shit. No. What if I've been feeding you? Right. <laughs> okay. Oh. Having fully explored the town and deciding that things are extremely weird and extremely confusing and you'd like to extremely get out of here, you approach the bridge that is hovering out into the middle of the abyss nothingness towards the portal that is glowing so brightly that your eyes can't make out anything that might be beyond it, but you can hear laughter no. and you can smell caramel and popcorn and probably everything okay through there right as you approach you feel the warmth of the sun on your face and the slight breeze blowing through whatever is on the other side of the portal over you are you going to step through aye aye captain yeah it's, no one looks forever it any weirder than it is here so yeah sure to use my I'm sound scared. effect here please work It's the loading screen sound, guys. Your time sounds like it's shifting. Whoa. Wow! It's it's oh. just like those maps on those flash games. Wow! And you I'm arrive. I'm so <laughs> sick of magic portals. Somewhere incredible. Somewhere extremely strange. But at least strange in a somewhat nicer way than you had been experiencing up until this point. You are undoubtedly inside the aforementioned circus. There are beautiful tents all around that have been adorned with festive lights and ribbons. You can hear the sound of music playing and people chattering as they walk from booth to booth. And those smells, those wonderful smells as you first walk through, not the rot and horribleness of the town, mm. but like I said, caramel and popcorn and that little bit of like, hay from like the horses and all the creatures and stuff around it's every carnival that you've ever been to but somehow even more magical the lights are a little bit brighter the color is a little bit sharper there's little bits of lights floating throughout the air what what can we hear i think she just said so uh, other than the sound right. of, it seems like, street musicians walking through and playing, like you'd hear the typical carnival sounds, there are the sounds of people talking, and you can see the people walking by, uh, poking their heads inside the tents and enjoyably talking to one another and sharing treats, but there's something odd about them. And as they pass you, you begin to see why. When looking at them straight on, they look like normal people, but as they pass, some sort of strange mirage shifts and you can see right through them, almost as if they were ghosts. Oh. Which you also did on the map, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is really cool. Huh. Uh, Steros uh, will mm. attempt to wave and greet someone that passes by. Like, hello. They give you a very vague smile, kind of like you would say hi to someone who you're not sure if you know them or not. Uh, and pass you by. They recognize that you're there, but they're not really engaging with you. 
Hmm. This one does put up his hood to kind of block out the brighter light. You know, <laughs> it's dark elf. No, bitch. dark elf. <laughs> dark elf. <laughs> dark elf. Sorry. Basement elf. <laughs> I will say, guys, uh, you guys did so good on the puzzle, and I thought there was going to be a battle. I haven't prepared three of the maps that are related to this area. Uh, oh. So, uh, obviously they're going to be coming. I'm so sorry. I had to change a few things uh, after we had players drop out, and I'm not finished with that yet. So uh, we on... can go back if you want. No, no, no. Uh, you're good. Five, <laughs> six, and seven I don't have prepared yet. Everything else is totally good. So go to okay, five, so... six, and seven. I'll I'm gonna go to show five. you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry for not having that prepared. I honestly didn't think you guys would would get you... this far. So sorry. You are doing so well. Don't worry. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is really amazing. So far. Oh, this glad has been you. so fun. That seriously just and makes sense. And gonna pop into two. I love the music and everything. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm glad. Yes. Very glad. Uh, Vesrin is popping her head into two. Yes. Alrighty. I'm right behind Vesmin. Go ahead and change that real quick. Well, since everyone, <laughs> since everyone else is going there, I'll go there. It's a weenie! Yeah. No. I'm a sheep! Friends, cliffs, and all that. So, the first structure that you see... Oh my god, across, it's a clown! Yeah. Uh, when you walk into the circus, other than just, you know, everything on those streets around you, is a giant, beautifully covered tent that's labeled Iniquitous Information Kiosk. And standing underneath the kiosk is an extremely bored looking imp with this really weird makeup that looks like it's been done half dash and is like half melting off of him. And he looks at you with a very bored gaze as you approach. He pulls up a piece of paper in front of him and in a very bored, rehearsed sort of manner says, Welcome to the Abyss Circus, a place of fantasy, whimsy, and terrifying fun. Please have a fantastic time. Each ticket is 50 gold. Uh, uh. Now you have noticed I might be of an infernal persuasion, but I assure you no one in the circus can harm any mortal being as long as you have a ticket. Have a nice day. And then without even looking up from the paper that he's reading, he holds his hand out for your gold. Oh. I think I think it's in our best interest to pay up. Wait. Steros uh, looks into his bag and kind of <clears throat> uh, I'm a bit short. Um, yeah, you and me both. Yeah. How much was yeah. it? 50? 15. Oh. Sorry if that didn't cover. Oh, 15. Yeah, oh. I, I was like, I don't even <laughs> I have 50. 50. I thought I heard 50. I was like, I think I'm the only I might one have, with... <laughs> I might have said 50. I apologize. It's 15. 15 okay. I could do 15 gold. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hastily reach into my my uh, my coin pouch and produce fifteen gold. Uh, Steros does the same, but not quite as hastily. He's very calmly counting it out, and uh, he'll gently place it into his hand. Vesperin also counts it out, but a lot more enthusiastically than Steros. <laughs> <laughs> um, Calliope, like, digs through, like, her bag and, like, jingles it just to make sure that everyone knows that she's got more money than everybody else here. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, you know how, like, when somebody puts their hand in, like, um, like, the bag of chips and they're just, like, moving around for way too long? <laughs> That's, like, what she's doing and then she gives the... Oh, so, uh, my dad watching a movie with us. <laughs> <laughs> As each of you hand the gold to the goblin ticket taker, whatever, he absentmindedly gnaws on one of the pieces to make sure that's actual gold, and then shoves it into a bag underneath the, the table where he's standing. Then in turn, he hands you all tickets, which are the ones that are on the splash screen, the one that says Welcome to the Abyss Circus with a little circus picture on it. It's that. <clears throat> Welcome to the circus, a place of wonder. Oh, wait, I already said that. Uh, go enjoy yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, nice costume. <laughs> go fu- mm. Thank you. Rain Shell, do you, need, do, you need, do you need me to cover you? Rain Shell, oh, I like know. this little thing. Yeah, poor Rain Shell. He needs, he needs a friend to cover him. <laughs> I got you. Nice. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, pay, I'll pay for Rain Shell's. Uh, admittance. Rain Shell appreciates it, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, are you guys staying at the kiosk or moving on? Moving on. 
Is there nothing else? Nothing. Nope. That's... Okay. It's, that it's was... just him at the little tent. That's all. He's, that's he's, Where do you... just, he's just a greeter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait. Oh. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> I just. I just. On the other side of the ticket you were given is this thingy right here that lists all the different uh, tents and things. Unfortunately, you don't see a bathroom, but there's probably not a house around here somewhere. Just pee so. off the side of the cliff. But everybody I mean, here is a ghost, so how... Well, he did mention there were infernal creatures. Maybe they Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, can we see the people clear now that we have a ticket? They appear the same Ooh. as before, where they look real when you are looking on them head on, but as soon as they pass or you see them from a different way, they're somewhat are, are any of them brandishing a ticket? All of them are. They're sticking out of their bag, oh, out of their no. pocket. Everywhere you look, all of them have the tickets. And they're prominently displayed, too. Not like shoved into a bag, but they're somewhere that could be easily seen. Can you guys see me? Can you guys see me when I do this? And he's like spinning around. <laughs> you guys can see each other just <laughs> as well as before. Am I a ghost? Uh, yes, I can see you. That was a very nice move. Thank you. <laughs> so, could we assume that this is where Dolar's daughter might be? I think that's a fair assessment. <laughs> this economy? Thanks, Pope. So, maybe when we're looking around, we could probably ask to see if she's here, maybe? What is her name again? Don't we have a picture of her? Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Uh, why don't we just flash the picture and see if somebody is, recognizes uh, her? What is it? Cin Cindia? Cindia. Cindia, yeah. yes. Cindia. They said no mortals can be harmed, right? <clears throat> well, clears the throat for a moment. And just in a few stutters, belts out. Thin Cindia 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 <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were saying You guys are gonna scare her away. <laughs> oh Cindia, it's time for dinner. <laughs> no. <laughs> a pop's <a> voice. Cindy <laughs> <laughs> Cindy Cindia Rob, no one appears yeah. to respond. In fact, mm. no one really notices you yelling at the top of your lungs like they wouldn't normal crazy. crowd. It's more from the center of my lungs, but oh. um, I'm uh, using the diaphragm. <laughs> who who yes. has the picture? I believe uh, Calliope had a last. Thank yeah. you, Calliope. Do you think you could try flashing the picture to somebody? Maybe somebody will recognize it through that. Okay. Um. So Calliope's gonna like walk in this like general area and kind of just like show off the picture and just be like, hey, I mean, trying to get people to, like, look and ask them if they have seen her before. So a few people, has anyone ever tried to, like, give you a flyer that you really didn't want and you kind of do the, no, thank you, and, like, walk really fast by them? A few oh, people yeah. are yep. doing that, except one small little girl who seems excited by the picture. She looks at you, she looks at the picture, she looks like she's the one who talks, but when she opens her mouth, nothing comes out it sounds strange and warped and echoey as if she's speaking to you from the bottom of a well and eventually she just gives up and seems to lose interest and continues walking Aww. what if i try to if i reach out and try to you know take her by the shoulder your hand passes do i to the ghost. No! no <laughs> you just offended her <laughs> he didn't notice she barely even notices that you guys are there it's like you have to constantly keep their attention or else they forget that you exist I don't like this place. It really? does but, I, but I do want some popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but they but they do understand us though. They appear to be, but they either can't speak or whatever they're saying is getting warped by the strange magic that's also warped their bodies. If mm. this is what happened to the town, we should probably figure out what's going on fast before we end up like them. Check mm. more. You think I have time to see a clown before we do that? <laughs> I probably. Uh, didn't we just see one at the ticket booth? A funny clown, not a depressed one. No, I thought they were all depressed. <laughs> we should take a look around and see if a we can find Cynthia, 
and B if we can find this witch person. Okay. Sorry, which person? Haha, uh, ha, very funny. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, ah, ha, ha. <laughs> I fell for it. <laughs> you guys didn't hear that. All right. Um, let's see. If I was a witch, where would I be? The darkest corner. They seem. Okay. They seem very Number proud of themselves is. and how they <laughs> and how they set this up. So we probably should head through right. the tents. Can I, like, I'll, I'll quietly divine anything from the book on hags? Uh, are you looking for anything in specific? It's a big book. What are you flipping through to find? Um, I don't really know. Are there any pictures? Are there any pictures in it? There are pictures. Uh, oh. Hag, night hags, like the other hags, uh, the, the green hags and, and whatnot, can take on two forms. They can take on the form of a beautiful maiden or a kindly looking older lady or like a, a younger girl, but their true form is extremely hideous, gnarled and warty and straggly hair. And they usually have like super gross names and they look like every evil witch out of every kid's book from like Germany. <laughs> How specific. <laughs> I, uh, well, oh, I mean, I Germany popped out some really spooky hey, things. <laughs> hey, everyone, um, I just, I, this might sound weird. Um, don't be too friendly with anyone overly nice or good looking here. If, oh, yeah. if you can interact yeah. with anyone at all. I, I just have Sorry, I, so We can't be friends. <laughs> so just, oh. Maybe we should just, like, try and blend it. Like we belong. I think I believe yeah, I think that's a good Try. course of action. How the hell am I going to blend in? <laughs> yeah, I got pointy ears and gray skin. Who said that? You <laughs> fly. I've got big fluffy chicken legs and I'm six foot tall. Well, <laughs> am I taller than most of the people here? Oh, so like e like the ghosts too. Oh yeah, because they're normal humanoids, so they're. So they I'm just squawking. basically towering over a lot of them. Just start squawking. They might think you're just like some abnormal like chicken pet thing. I feel like that will make me stand out more. I <laughs> <laughs> haven't. I don't think they've taken notice yet. Maybe they'll think I'm part of the circus if we're lucky. So is I'm assuming. Wait, hold on. Oh, portal. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, one is the portal back to the. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, then two is the kiosk. I would love. We were already. To continue exploring clockwise. Yeah, and because if we if we travel clock clockwise. Uh, <laughs> If we travel clockwise, we, we won't get to the parts that aren't quite ready yet as quickly. <laughs> yeah. And as a court, sort of meta thing, the numbered ones have maps, but all of these tents have something if you want to explore them. They just don't have oh. a specific set piece. What's ah. in this purple one? Ping me? This purple tent. Oh, uh, it is a beautiful collection of glassworks, extremely intricately created, like glass sculptures and twisted vases. It's incredible craftsmanship, but just one look at the prices. Each of them are 500 to 1,000 gold pieces each. I'm assuming this one is like the animal stable? No, actually, it is selling food. A bunch of different spun candy floss that actually floats in midair, some oh. sort of magical way. There's this extremely sticky popcorn candy that has like the kind of, you ever had Pop Rocks when you eat it and it like, oh, kind of, like yeah. fizzles in your mouth? Incredible foods of all kinds. Oh. Uh, I'm so how tempted. Expensive? Uh, they ah. range in prices between one and five gold pieces. One and five. So they're, they're relatively cheap. Hmm. I mean... <laughs> I know I was being I'm... serious just a second ago, but I am kind of hungry. <laughs> Calliope I'm always will serious about being hungry. To pay for everybody if somebody wants something. Oh my god. Right, Calliope is, my is queen. money bags. <laughs> I'm rich. I know the druid of all people is money bags. Um, <laughs> I can't help it. I was a greedy bitch at the beginning. Freaking <laughs> hippies, am I right? 
Uh, oh, because eight. the the pop rock <laughs> looking bits are the closest to seeds, Steros will point at those. <laughs> those are three gold pieces. Oh, oh damn it! I guess I haven't been to a circus in a while. <laughs> They're like movie theaters, man. The price goes up a food. Man, Robin, you're blind. <laughs> we did just spend 15 gold for a ticket. That yeah, I just sure freaking Disneyland. Pri- I don't know what Disneyland is. Are there peanuts or rock candy? Uh, there is rock candy, but it's emitting tiny little sparks as if someone had just like struck flint and the sparks were being emitted. But they yeah, that- probably are fine. They That's taste- the pop rocks, right? But, oh no, the the popcorn is the pop rocky ones. There's oh. no sparks. It just it fizzles in your mouth when you eat them. The rock candy actually has like sparks, glowing tiny little sparks. Okay, well the the popcorn probably is easier for him to eat with his beak. <laughs> I'll take some rock candy. <laughs> All right, uh, that's two gold. Okay, I'll take two. The strange thing is, there isn't anyone actually standing behind the tent. There's only a kind of metallic-looking uh, automaton, mannequin sort of thing. And when you reach out to grab one of the things that's arrayed on the table, it also kind of sketchily and shakily reaches out one of its hands for you to deposit the gold. Is he? Oh. You know, it's like a, it's like a vending machine. <laughs> yeah, I'll put four gold machine. down. Does it come in different colors? The rock candy? Yes. Every color under the sun. All the colors of the rainbow. Uh, <laughs> Steros will hand the little robot uh, the three gold required. It jerkily and shakily takes back the gold and deposits it into a pouch around its waist. How intriguing. I was really hoping you were going to say it puts it into its mouth. Is oh, it like a coin Lord. slot? Yeah. I should have thought of that. No, it's a pouch around its waist. <laughs> He picks up the popcorn and he uh, pops one into his beaks. His beaks? Beak. Beaks. He has two beaks. One, one of his beaks. He has two beaks. It is incredibly delicious. It l- l- tastes almost better than it looks and it looks really cool. The kind of popping sensation is really fantastic. It's not filling. I mean, it's candy, but it's incredibly delicious. Huh. Do you feel any different? Uh, my tongue is tingling. But my tongue is tingling. My, my tongue is tingling. Uh, <laughs> you have a tongue? You're so weird. Yes. Birds but... have tongues. <laughs> have you been sheltered under a rock with no parents? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> the best one will pick is two favorite colors and uh, try it. Did you pay for this? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you deposited uh, it too. Uh, they're not quite spicy, but they feel like the non-painful equivalent of putting your tongue on lightning. It's like electrifying, energizing, and it tastes incredibly good. So tingles. Yeah, kind of, but like a tense tingle, super intense tingle. That sounds. I'm not gonna finish this. Image. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, Jay, if you keep like uh, making these really descriptive candy. Uh, we're gonna have a love scene here soon. <laughs> I thought we already had one. Oh, that's true. That's true. We're gonna have a second love scene. <laughs> All right, yeah. I will. I will finish up and say it takes good. It's very good taste. There you go. <laughs> Magic good tasting. I will abstain from any candy. Thank you. Oh. Not allowed. You're not allowed candy. What kind of parents no. did you have? <laughs> um, <laughs> strict, I suppose. Not, I mean, not, uh, just a no candy family, you know, you know, <laughs> you know. Dude, I'm a dark elf, and I was allowed candy. <laughs> uh, Steros will uh, passively just munch on the popcorn as they walk. Can I do? I guess it would be, like, investigation. Um, I just want to, like, look at this, like, circle thing with looks like, what is Like, heads on sticks? Huh? Those are just torches. What? Regular torches. Oh. I thought they were lampposts. They are. I, saw, they're, I they're... thought I saw eyes. <laughs> uh, you know, the art asset I might have used might have... Kind of looked 
That's not what it's supposed I mean, like, to be. I mean, like, when they I zoom in, I'm like, like oh, okay, it makes sense now. It, it might have, it, the like, art asset this might one have skulls. Especially, it looks like skulls. Yeah, yeah that, that, one. That's what that was, was the one at. I was looking at. It's a little skully, <laughs> but in, in, in the not metaverse, in the actual, what it's supposed to be representing, they're just regular looking torches, very nice, and the smoke that they give off isn't that sooty or gross, so it's like getting caught in your mouth or anything. But they're all, um, I'm trying to think, what are the words? Uh, like just uh, poofs that are laid out on uh, the uh, stone floor surrounding this giant bonfire that has this kind of strange purple light emanating from it. Huh. And these mats or platforms? Yeah, they're ramps? they're they're just mats to sit on, like a uh, picnic. Okay, board. okay. Is anybody oh, sitting in them? Like no. A few people are walking by, warming their hands by the fire, or otherwise ooing and aahing at it, because it's quite beautiful, but no one is sitting on them. Hey. Hmm. Walt, go touch the fire. I, mm, <laughs> see if it's hot. Is it hot? I'll, I'll give it a, Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just repeating what you did earlier. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's it on is a hot fire. You can feel the heat as you approach. Other than it's okay. a beautiful color, it is exactly a fire. Walt it's pretty would fiery. Be the perfect crash dummy. <laughs> Just throw up at stuff. <laughs> hey, Walt, is that thing dangerous? Go touch it. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Whoa, is, it... is that an owl bear? Hey, Walt, go say hi to it. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> don't actually send the druid who can talk to the owl bear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'd like to see what's uh, up with this uh, tent labeled three. Me too. Alrighty. Me As you guys three. approach this tent, something immediately strikes you in that, unlike all the other ones around here, it is not beautifully adorned or brightly covered, covered in lanterns or festive ribbons. It's just this kind of dingy little tent shoved off as far off the main walk as possible. But there's still a sign out front of it that says the Cozener's Divination Corner, and so you still approach. Magic! Are we about to get our fortune told? I sure sound like it. Yo, I'm about to be fortune told that I'm hot as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a fortune, I think that's just fact. Aw, oh, hell your, yeah. Your, your lucky numbers are 23. 16. Oh, my music's not working for this one. Oh. Huh. I'll, also, uh, I'll be right back. Your lucky numbers okay. are my phone number. Here you go. Oh, ah. actually, here. I think I can go ahead and get the music working while she's gone. Let's see. I am going to take a very quick pee pee break. Yeah, let's go I ahead and also take a pee pee break. break. That works. Mm -hmm. I'll get this working. Okay. <laughs> I will stay here and talk to chat. Chat, stop jacking off. So how is everyone in chat doing? I have returned. Welcome back. Thank you all. I don't actually watch the stream while we're playing. What's chat up to? Uh, I do just to see if my audio is okay. Then I have a buddy in chat who always comes and watches, so. 
Oh, hello, buddy. His name is Pope. Everyone. He's a D&D professional. A professional? Should I be worried? Am I being judged? No. Am I being judged? I'm being judged. <laughs> oh, what's the, what's the thing you're not supposed to say? I'm sorry you feel that way. Oh, <laughs> that was, that's brutal. <laughs> Ah, very nice. Uh, a little bit. I'm getting a <laughs> mist vibe. Welcome back, Jess. Thank you. You can always call ah. it Jess. <laughs> Welcome back. I do love to trill. <laughs> I went into the bathroom and Kuma said, Kuma. So I pet him. And he he started screaming at me at the top of his lungs. No, oh, nice. This this cat, mm -hmm. he either goes mer or he just. <laughs> There's no in between. Vibe. I mean, look at who he learned it from. Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> I'm listening. I have nothing to tell you. I just wanted to tell you, listen here, you little shit. <laughs> listen, listen. Oh, hey, you got the music working. Mm -hmm. Yay. <sighs> it's a rainbow. It's not Pride Month anymore. <laughs> oh, shoot. No. There's seven, and we don't... Oh, well. That's okay. Extra chairs for people. Extra chairs. Who come I'm gonna put one on my lap. Yep, this on uh, this one's going under my feet. Thank you. <gasps> no, I don't get to hug one like a like a little like a little baby. I'll hold it like an egg. The best one will reluctantly give up his second pillow. You <laughs> <laughs> keep it. Good, because I actually wasn't gonna. <laughs> Uh, we're still waiting on Clippy? Yes. Cool. I'm gonna look at me oh, here. Clippy! Hello. Do we have everybody? Yes. Uh, Wonderful. Here, present. <laughs> Toll call. Alright, excellent. And I got the music going, good. So, as you approach the tent, you can immediately see that it is much larger than it appeared. Uh, originally, you saw just like kind of a dingy tent held up by a single pole, but as you walk inside, it's quite large and extravagantly hung with these beautiful tapestries and velvet drapes and ribbons, which kind of creates this feeling like you just stepped into the middle of uh, a bunch of laundry that's being just whipped around you with the, just the amount that's hanging all over the place. The air is cloying and smoky because of the two braziers that are burning extremely hot on either side as you walk in. As you approach, kind of through the dim light, you can see that there is a large table set out in front of you with a variety of different chairs in front and a hooded figure sitting opposite a glowing globe filled with strange swirling smoke and spark and mists who doesn't seem to acknowledge you as you approach and you can't make out any of their features underneath this huge heavy hooded cloak. On top of the table and next to that strange orb is this little plaque that lists out the services that this person provides. It says that they are called the Soothsayer, that they are here to read your fortune, and uh, they list their prices as free. Tom. Hello? This might be considered rude, so I'll do it quickly. If I stand in the doorway, and push in on the tent from the outside. Can I see it indent from the inside? Uh, you can see a slight indent, but it it's like there's a bit of a delay. As you press in on the fabric, nothing seems to change for a moment, and then you can see a little indent of your thumb, as if it's 
there's a delay between what's happening in the outside world and this one. <laughs> I'll just rush in uneasily and take a seat. <laughs> Steros at this point has seen a bunch of weird things and probably wouldn't even be phased by that. He's not even phased by the fact that this is just a TARDIS tent. Um, <laughs> he... Good DM steal from everywhere. <laughs> it's true. He <laughs> kind of takes a look at what's on the table and at the soothsayer and uh, kind of waves at it. Like, Hello? As you wave towards the figure, they look up and a little bit of the cloak falls back from their face. And they are bound in heavy, glowing like golden, golden glowing chains. There's one that's wrapped around their mouth, there's one that's wrapped around their neck, a big heavy one around their shoulders, and so it appears that they might want to talk to you, they open their eyes and they, they have an expression as if they're, they're trying to communicate but they literally can't through the giant golden padlock wrapped around their head. Oh or my God. chains with a padlock. Uh, uh, nevertheless, they don't seem to be phased by this strange occurrence, and they wave for you to approach and then they mime picking up their hands and placing them back down and palms up on the table. And they do this a few times to try and get the meaning across. Uh, so come closer to the table? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe uh, we should probably remove those findings so we can actually hear him speak. Can I cast knock on him? Ooh. Uh, read me the description. It's any mundane lock that you can undo, right? Uh, yeah, it contains enough. mundane or, uh, object that contains mundane or magical, uh, uh, or no, hang on, hang on. Choose an object that you can see within range. The object can be a door, box, desk, a set of manacles, a padlock, or another object that contains a mundane or magical means that prevents access. A target that is held shut by mundane lock or that is stuck or barred becomes unlocked, unstuck, or unbarred. If the object has multiple locks, only one of them is unlocked. If you choose a target that is held shut with arcane lock, with uh, with arcane lock, that spell is suppressed for ten minutes, during which time the target can be opened and shut normally. Okay, you can go ahead and cast it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I need to roll anything. You don't do have I? to roll. Yeah, I'm just double checking something real quick. Um, do you have your little <laughs> uh, sound effect you want to do as you cast knock? Yes, of course. Alrighty, go You're ahead. Reminding me. Die. I wish I had some incantation to speak over it, but I don't. Unlock. <laughs> you strum your loot magically and the magic is directed towards the soothsayer who seems extremely surprised they jump up in a certain amount of alarm as the magic hits them and rocks them for a second and then they rock back onto their toes and look at you for a moment as the lock that has been wrapped around their mouth falls off and in a very creaky voice they say excellently done, but this will not last for long. I'm glad I get to speak to you, though. My name is Ellie. Oh. Huh. Wait a Hello, minute. Hello, Ellie. Are you, are you okay? Wait, Ellie! Uh, yes. I imagine, and as she talks her, her voice is starting to come back, because it's been a long time since she's used it, and as she speaks, she's extremely refined. Uh, for those of you who are city dwellers, she sounds like the most refined of the high elf um, uh, aristocracy that you might have met. Um, yes, uh, thank you. I apologize for the circumstances under which we're meeting, and you have to understand that while that was a clever little trick, it will not last for long, and I will be limited once again until you find the actual key. But this is a lot easier than miming, so... Uh, Thank you. And oh there... my gosh, I forgot that one of you was a drow. Disgusting. Oh, excuse hey. me. What? That babe. That was uh, an interesting oh. comment to make. 
Oh, uh, I apologize. I apologize. It has been so long since I've interacted with people, and I mean, you can't blame me. They're dark elves, but no, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm here because, and she she tries to say something, and she mouths it, but the words can't come out. And she tries again. She's extremely frustrated. I need to tell you that, and frustrated, she sits back down. And she kind of like hits her knee in frustration and says, you have done a lot. You have done great. You have just not done enough. There are still bindings upon me and I cannot speak of the problem until they are removed. There, Can you tell us there, where the key is? Oh, um, there I is... thought you were intelligent. Don't you have one? Oh! Oh! <laughs> How would they yeah. know that we had one? He... Yeah, this is just stupid, but like, isn't Ellie the, 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 the... It's the wizard! He is the wizard person. Uh, Steros reaches into his bag and holds up the key in front of his face. You mean this one? She reaches for it, she grabs for it almost, but the table is quite long, and she stopped from being able to reach you. And then she sighs in frustration and says, yes, that one! And in that moment, you and everyone else who's touched the key recognizes that voice of triumph, the one that went yes when, you know, you picked up the key, is her <gasps> voice. Y'all, this is sussy. Oh. So Don't that's how she knew that. we had it. Don't give her the key, please. There, there, mm, there were things looking for you in the tower uh, back there. Yes. I know the spider queen sent them. Can you please give me the key, please? Somebody say spiders? Spider teeth. <laughs> Sorry, not spider queen. <laughs> Let's annihilate this hoe. Uh, this is <laughs> murder hobo. Uh, <laughs> Steros kind of decides that, you know, if the little troll boys are trying to kill her, then she may be of some help trying to get rid of whatever's yeah. happening here and to get us home. So he stands up and leans over the table and reaches his arm out to hand her the key. Because he tall boy. He <laughs> reaches forward and right before she touches the key, you see an emotion cross over her face. And it's very easily and plain to see to everyone because tears fill her eyes. She is so relieved to finally have this key that she, this normally extremely composed, well-refined person, can't stop the tears from appearing. She grabs it and she lifts it to the lock on her face, which was slowly trying to lock itself back together as it resists the knock spell, and she fully unlocks it and it falls to the ground. And she sighs this huge sigh of relief and leans back in her chair and closes her eyes for a minute. It seems as if she's thrown off a huge heavy weight and is just kind of enjoying the moment. Uh, is, there, is everything okay? You have no idea how long that's been on me. I'm still limited. I, there's still things I cannot say. There are more keys for you to find, but this is the most amount of words I have said to a mortal person in at least a hundred years. What? A are hundred you, years. Are you mortal too? Oh, an elf, darling. That's not much for me. Yeah, elves live kind of long. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Can you perhaps point us in the direction we need to go for these keys? Yeah, yes, yes, I can. Uh, Oh my goodness, what can I say? Uh, let me see. Have you met Boone, the man in the church, the man who yes. asked you questions? Yeah, Excellent. He was the first one, actually. He works for me. He's uh, an accomplice, let's say, uh, uh, a servant, if you will. He told me that you were coming, and I tried to get a message to you through one of my plants, and it might have been a little uh, an inefficient way to communicate, but I didn't have any other better ways. Have you been to my tower? Have you seen the things there? Oh, I, I hope you didn't have any trouble with my uh, uh, alarm system. You take your that. alarm system has many holes. Ah, uh, yes. That... And so do we because of your alarm system. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. well, look, there's I... a dead body in your tower. By yeah, the way. yeah. Ah, you and some creepy saw that. Holes. Okay, I guess 
I have to be truthful then. And she <laughs> looks None like... None of truth. Uh, let me see. I want to see what your guys' passive... I want... I, like... I want to cast Zone of Truth. Ooh, Zone of Truth. That's a great one. Uh, so is it sh only she can't lie, or is it anyone within the circle can't lie? It's, it's with anyone within a 15-foot uh, radius sphere. Fantastic. Go ahead and cast it, and then draw that on the map, if you wouldn't mind. Sure. How do I draw again? Oh, uh, there's a little thing on the side that looks like a circle. It says draw. You can click on it, and then draw uh, from there on the uh, left-hand bar on roll 20. Can ah. you can you choose where to put it, or is it from yourself? It's, uh, I think it's anywhere I choose, but let me double check. Um... Yeah, uh, yeah, anywhere I choose within 60 feet. Perfect. Okay. So, does it go out? Oops. Not what I meant to do. Uh, while Walt is doing that, let's see. Steros and Vezrin, you both have passive perception of 14. Both are mm -hmm. yeah. receptive little boys. So you two are the only ones Covered. to notice how uh, deeply uncomfortable the soothsayer or Ellie is is appearing. I mean, obviously, she just said, oh, I guess I have to tell you the truth, but she's grinding her teeth a little bit, she's twiddling with her uh, fingers, she's pulling on the hedge of her robe. Something is extremely bothering her. Are you perhaps trying to hide the fact you're appearing to try and summon something with the magic circle? Uh, she goes to speak, and then her eyes shoot over to Walt. Um, I have to remind me, uh, can you cast that spell silently, or would she have heard you do so? Uh, it is verbal. She, she, is it verbal? She would have heard me, and she would do a uh, uh, charisma saving throw. Um, Let me pull her up real fast. I can make that into a soundboard if you send me the sound clip. Ooh, I will. Because sometimes it cuts out on your mic. Oh, does it? I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. Yeah, but if slightly. I make it a soundboard, then everyone can hear it pretty clearly if they don't have soundboards muted. And I'm gonna roll a Christmas saving throw. And I got a... 14. Uh, that... Ooh. I forget what my, my spell shit is. I believe in you. You got this. Oh my god, why can't I find it? I believe in you. It's in spells <laughs> at the very top. Uh, I'm sorry, um, you said what now? It's in spells at the very top. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, yes, that unfortunately beats my save. Uh, so she does hear you, but she doesn't seem to take offense. If anything, she's amused at, like, the balls to try and <laughs> pass this on her at the moment. Uh, yeah, sheepishly uh, smile back at her. But she, she doesn't particularly say anything. She just kind of eyes you, and she goes back to looking at Steros to ask, are you trying to summon anything? And she says, no, dear, no, I'm, I'm deeply embarrassed. And I, I've done some horrible things. And I guess if I'm being honest, as my dear fellow here wants me to be, uh, <laughs> I don't know how much you know, and I'm trying to figure out how much I can get away with not saying. I suppose that's somewhat understandable, but we may need to know in order to try and reverse whatever's going on here. Yes. I know. Let's see, what can I say? I was... sick. I was deeply ill, and I have been alive longer than all of you. I have been alive longer than your fathers and their fathers' fathers, and I still couldn't cure myself. And I felt myself growing weaker and weaker. And I took some measures to heal myself measures I would not normally have taken if I wasn't desperate. But before 
I did so. I did study anatomy, and I studied others who had died from the same affliction to see if I could cure myself. But I promise you, and I will swear on anything you want me to, the people in my tower did not die by my hand. I'm going to give Ellie uh, the book on the plagues and remedies that I um, stole from her from her tower. <laughs> <laughs> she looks at you even more sharply because now this is twice that you've kind of tweaked at her uh, but she rolls her eyes slightly and she pages through extremely expertly to one page that had been dog-eared and it is called I have to pull this up real fast The White Wasting Plague and she puts her finger on it and she says you can read more about it since you have already raided all of my books <laughs> But the white wasting disease was cast upon me by a devilish creature called an Oinoloth from one of the nine circles of hell. It slowly eats away at your soul and your magic until you die. And I could do nothing I'm gonna, about it. I'm going to pull out the book on, on the hells and hand that to her. <laughs> She's even more pissed off now. She's drumming her fingers <laughs> on the table <laughs> and staring at you, daggers. I mean, if looks could kill you'd have two holes burned into your head <laughs> and again <laughs> without looking at you she again flips open the book and there is a page on the oinoloth it is a demon of pestilence and plague and disease that lives in one of the circles of the hells and can inflict that kind of disease upon someone how do you spell oinoloth uh o-i-n-o-l-o-t-h Okay. She closes both books and she places her hands very protectively on them and she says now you can tell I'm not a common liar. Will you please listen? I'm trying to help both of us. I didn't want you to be caught here and you're not the first to be caught here but you are the first to have gotten this far so again props for the somewhat okay intelligence but uh, there are things that you must do and then I can get you out of here and, and everything will be fine. Right? Everything will be fine. Staros kind of crosses his arms. Uh, he wants to make a comeback to her, but he would prefer to hear her out first. Uh, she looks to Calliope and Vezrin, who so far have remained silent, and she says, what about you two? Did you also plunder from my tower? Nope. <laughs> 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 it's not in the zone of truth. No <laughs> nope. Oh, here. Um, I make a Christmas save, right? Yep. Uh -huh. Nope. As a show of filthy, he'll step in the zone of truth. Oh, yeah, he fails. Okay. And fails. <laughs> I stole nothing from your tower. Huh. And what about you, little Janassi? She, she's yes, an you oh. <laughs> oh well, totally if you haven't that. sinned any more than your fellows, that's fine. But really, that's where I live. Why would you do that? It was trashed anyway. Oh, what do you what do you mean trashed? Oh, good your point. Your bedroom appeared to be just destroyed. Really? Uh, really? Huh. That's strange. I don't recall why that would happen. But the teleporter was still locked, correct? You had to find a way to get up to my study? Yeah. Indeed. Ah, I see. So they must not have gotten to the real secrets then. That's fine. Uh, I guess if you ransacked a place that's already ransacked, then that's not a crime? And she seems kind no, of... No, it's still a crime. <laughs> <laughs> so you, it does yeah. raise the question... How do you relock it? Because I don't think we relocked it. Yeah. Oh my God. The soothsayer sighs, and she is one hundred and ten percent done with you, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, "It's fine. All of the townspeople are trapped here anyway, and the damn infernal demons can appear wherever they want, and I'm still bound here in this tent." So I guess it doesn't matter that you have plundered my home and left it unlocked. 
to be fair, we didn't know you were uh, going to be here. Well, yes. You didn't know I guess you were going to be alive. Uh, I'm not, really. You four, or five, are the only truly alive beings here. The rest of us are hey. halfway between life and death. Who's got two thumbs and totally alive? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> okay, I will. I will tell you what to do, and I will see how far I can go before the rest of this curse binds me and keeps me from speaking. There are other people here who are also running the circus. They're in some of the tents, and they work for her, the one who bound me here, the clown, Spider Teeth. <laughs> If you can get the keys from them, you can fully release me, and I will have the power to release you from this plane, and you may go on your business. But what about the rest of the people? What about you? She looks at you with kind of an interested, raised eyebrow. Well, what do you care about us? Well, nobody not... deserves to be trapped in a place like this. Besides, we, we may be looters, but we're not heartless. I may be a pirate, but I'm an anti hero. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ask for this. None of this was your choosing. You were pulled here by magics that I can't explain. And to figure out how to free us would require information that I cannot tell you. At the moment, are you really sure you want to entangle yourself in this? Because you could leave, and I and no one else would blame you. Well, if we don't want to be here, then it would be kind of cruel to leave you behind if we could potentially mm -hmm. free you. Do you all believe this way? Kind of nodding and looking around at everybody, yeah. Besson will give a very assured nod. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> he sighs and she says the next tent over is owned by probably the weakest of the bunch if I were to guess get the key from him, bring it back to me and I will see what I can do to help you Ooh. level one boss <laughs> Okay. Right. I assume that means we we're going direction. to have to fight them. Uh, yes. Isn't that a funny little thing? Uh, you cannot be... None of the mortals can be harmed while you're within the circus. Uh, but there's much that you could do to someone that isn't technically bodily uh, harm. And you are not like the other uh, mortals uh, in the circus, who are half alive and half dead. I think they could harm you if they wanted to. Do we have to half die? Well, I kind of don't want to. I don't want to do that. No. <laughs> hmm. We'll figure something out. I think. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, like, I, I, I suppose we should give what it about a the go. Flint spikes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, what about the plant spikes? Yes, well, see, uh, I guess that's part of what I can't tell you, but what I can tell you is some of them are my creations, and I possibly may have been using them to spy on you. Is that what the eyes are about? He looks ashamed, and for the first time kind of bashful, almost? A a an odd look on her, and eventually she nods. And uh, Walt uh, produces the book on hags and puts that on the table, too. <laughs> <laughs> he has an extremely odd reaction. He looks at the book with an almost venomous hate and then takes it and throws it as far away from her as possible. I without thought she, oh, you were about to say she throws it at Walt. <laughs> <laughs> no, she throws, right it, the she throws it away from her as if it was something deeply disgusting that she didn't want to look at. Uh... Is every is everything okay? You can go now. Well, 
Uh, Wait a minute. What can, what can you tell me about this book? And he, and he pulls out the bound book. <laughs> oh my god. She, Rose is calling her. Her. she finally. The shovel to keep digging. <laughs> she finally uh, puts her head in her hands and through her hands, extremely exasperated, she says, That's my damn diary. Can you oh, leave oh. now? <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Well, I can't believe you would steal a lady's diary. I can't either. I'm so ashamed. Did you read it? Is there anything no, about a, a handsome fellow in there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I are you not... handing her the the uh, book, or are you just holding on to it? Uh, I'm I'm giving it back to her. She looks at you. She places her hand spread eagle, like with the fingers spread upon the cover of the book, which flips open. And then she sighs and hands it back to you. You may find that some of the words have been magically erased as part of my curse, but perhaps this will help you understand. Oh. oh. Th thank you. Mm. Now, can you leave, please? Yes. We'll <laughs> do what we can to free you of your curse. Thank you. Steros uh, will begin walking out, but uh, I don't know if you guys have anything else to say to her. Maybe throw some more books at her that you stole from <laughs> Don't it's me on the stolen hey, books. Hey, stole nothing from the tower. But that's, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna walk she's... by and flaunt my bag as I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you all are leaving, you're not investigating anything in the tent or anything like that? No, Vesperin will leave her a piece of candy. Oh, so sweet! <laughs> and then Walt as he's walking out, uh, he's gonna turn around to her and say, "By the way, Walt stole some of your underwear and walks out." <laughs> I did not. I did not. No. no. Oh, by the way, this, he he makes a wide gesture around the zone and says, "I don't know how to take this down, but it, it should go away in in a little bit." Bye. He she Bye. looks at you, and as all of you leave, you see two things very subtly. The first is that she quickly grabs the candy and shoves it underneath her robe. And the second, Walt, as you walk by, she winks at you. Oh. Uh, she likes you. <laughs> likes you, likes you. He thinks you stole her underwear, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she wants you to read uh. her diary so you'll get the hots for her. Oh, she's like three times his age, I think. That's okay. I, I think more. We're, I think more than that. Probably. We're all adults Stay here. Away from the plants. We're all adults here. <laughs> Stay away from the plants. All right, you guys leaving? Aye, aye. Okay. Fantastic. That was interesting. interesting. I'm doing <laughs> notes. Sorry for throwing you under the wagon there. No, oh, you're not. Uh, mm. Yeah. No, I'm not. Not even throwing him <laughs> under the wagon. Just straight up lies. <laughs> you didn't throw him under the wagon. You drove the wagon into him. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I forgive you. And then I reversed it. I still forgive you. <laughs> Rose said Tawanda and did it like nine times. <laughs> And Shell, you were awfully quiet. <laughs> I <Off>. didn't take. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some tea, buddy? Do we have enough time? I think I might have something I have to do. Actually, seven. ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> oh, hello, man. I hate to be the bearer of bad oh my news, God, but I have requirements of Jay here in about eight minutes or so. And yeah, that's so what I thought. Well, I they're need bang. to no, <laughs> no. I, I I would inform the Discord if that was what was happening. Just announce. Oh, so you haven't bold. gotten any, bro? No, zero. You suck. Um, no. Um, well, he's so, not. No okay, riz. That's the issue. Dude, I have negative riz. So yeah. Um. It, I, I hate no to give bad news, Tiny but I, tick, I need to bitch. request that uh, the, the day be early out today. Yeah, uh, this is a good I, place. This is about the time we usually end, isn't it? 
It is. We did. Time. We yeah. we pushed things back half an hour, but I'm good. I'm good to end things here. Um, it's a this good was stopping a productive spot. Session, so. Extremely. You guys burned through some stuff. This is great. Oh man. Yay. And now yeah. you have a whole week to do those maps that you don't have prepared. <laughs> Actually, oh. two weeks. Burn. Two, I have weeks, two weeks. Yeah. They're almost done. Like I said, I had to rearrange some things because we have less people, and you were gonna get crushed by the enemy setup. <gasps> oh, you, you didn't, you didn't kill him. Oh, you know, I really should have, but no, I tried to keep it more balanced than that. Uh, anyway, uh, everything should be up, and you can go s interact with everything by the time that we do next time session. I hope you all had a great time. Manage yeah. to go ahead and end the stream, and I will see y'all in two weeks. Bye, man. Sounds good, everybody. Y'all have a great time. Thank you. Everyone. Good night. Thank you, Jay. Right. Thank you.